It is the site of unimaginable horror. Students will never walk the hallways of Robb Elementary School in Uvalde again. It is now a haunting memorial to the lives lost one year ago today. Mark Austin has led our team coverage from Uvalde this morning and joins us live just steps from Robb Elementary. And Mark, has that memorial had any visitors so far? Not till just recently, we had a trickle of a few people right after sunrise. A large group just came through a short time ago as we zoom in on the crosses there in front of the Robb Elementary School sign. You see a few people milling about, few people, but a large group just came through. They brought flowers and teddy bears for each of those crosses. They also picked up flowers that blew away earlier this morning. We had some gusty winds after those storms in San Antonio. Those winds made their way to Uvalde and flowers were everywhere, but they picked all of those up and now everything is as it should be. But today, of course, is all about remembering. I want to walk you some of the through some of the events that are happening around Uvalde through today and into tonight. So at 1132 this morning, at St. Philip's Episcopal, there will be a butterfly release. Uh, Uvalde is along the migration path of monarch butterflies here in Texas. Why 1132? Well, that is the moment that the first shots were reported here at Robb Elementary School. So again, a butterfly release, 343 North Getty Street in Uvalde. Then at 1249, uh, bells will toll here in Uvalde. It'll be throughout the uh, area. Why 1249? Well, that is when law enforcement finally breached the room and ended the tragedy that day. 5.30 p.m., Uvalde County, Fairplex, there will be a community vigil. That's at 215 Veterans Lane. 6 p.m., there will be a mural walk happening. There are a number of murals throughout uh, downtown Uvalde. And then at 7.30 tonight at Uvalde Memorial Park, there will be a candlelight vigil hosted by Lives Rob. That one is at 376 East Main Street. But as I said, today is about remembering the victims who died in the Uvalde massacre are being remembered today in thoughts and especially in prayers. Worshippers set to gather at Sacred Heart Catholic Church for Mass that begins in about an hour. Our Katrina Weber is there with a live report. Katrina, you mentioned earlier this morning that the Archbishop from San Antonio will be there. Do we have any idea on what kind of message he will deliver? Well, I think it's a pretty safe bet that the overall message from Archbishop Gustavo Garcia Sierra will be one of compassion. But there's a chance, there's a very good chance that some of those words will be aimed at hope and maybe even forgiveness. That will be during this mass, which starts here at 10 o'clock this morning. Now, taking a look, you can. it looks like some of the people have already started to arrive. All these cars were not here when we first got here. But uh, the mess, again, starting at 10 o'clock this morning, uh, there could be a large crowd crowd by the time this is all over. Who will not be inside the church are the media, or at least our cameras. There are signs posted all around this building saying that no media are, are allowed on the property, and we are definitely keeping our distance out of respect. The Archdiocese, however, has says that, said that we are welcome to attend the Mass as worshipers, but there are no special allowances for us inside the building, no area set aside, and again, no cameras allowed. And the Archdiocese is going to live stream this Mass on their sites, though. Again, and anyone who wants to attend uh, this mass is welcome to do so in person. It starts at 10 o'clock this morning here at Sacred Heart Church. The address is 408 Fort Clark Road, and that's again here in Uvalde. And this church has held a special place in the hearts of the families. If you recall, this is where a lot of the funerals were held in the days and weeks after that shooting massacre. Reporting live in Uvalde, Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News. Thank you, Katrina. We will be continuing to remember the victims of the Robb Elementary School shooting throughout the day. And tonight we will be airing a special program paying tribute to the city of Uvalde. The program will air at 9 p.m. today right here on KSAT 12. And you can also watch it online or any way you stream.